I hate like I hate fighting people that I know you don't. I I really do. And I and I know you maybe a lot of people don't don't believe me, but I'm gonna try and explain the best I can. In every in every job there is no perfect job. Do you agree that yes. there is there's no perfect job that you like every everything right. about it? It's impossible. My job as a professional athlete in mixed martial art on 365 days, I I fight normally when I was very active, I used to fight twice a year approximately. Not more, more than that. I never wanted to more than that because I wanted to stretch, especially when you want to stretch when you're a champion because it's better for for uh, advertising the the also for uh, longevity and everything. So more time, more money, more business wise and everything and longevity. So about two, twice a year in 365 days, there's two days that I hate the most is the day that I'm fighting. It's freaking unbearable. The feeling of uncertainty that if you don't know if you're going to be humiliated, you're going to be the victor, we're going to be the loser. It's I care so much about it that it is freaking unbearable. As much as I try to dismiss it, it's unbearable. However, I like the fact that I'm a free man. I'm my own boss. I do whatever, whatever I have. I have access to certain things like VIP stuff that most people don't. And uh, my quality of life, uh, the money, I didn't have it before, now I do. I love my job. I'm very happy about my job. But there is thing about my job that I hate the most is fighting. I freaking hate. <laughs> I love the study of fighting. I love the science of it, how I'm, the tactical, the physical. I love to train. I love to walk in a room and feel strong. I know if something happened, I'm the, I'm the man, even though it's an illusion because with a bullet and nobody is faster than this. But I like that lifestyle. I do it for the lifestyle, for what it is. I don't do it for the fight. I freaking hate to fight. I had this talk with Rory McDonald at one point. I was like, hey, why do you like fighting? Oh, I guess I like to fight. He said, you like to fight? It's like, fuck no, I don't <laughs> like to fight. And everybody in the room turned around, they look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, you guys are all crazy. You think I like to fight in a cage in front of a million of people, maybe get humiliated, knocked out? Or die? Are you crazy? I don't like to fight. Are you nuts? <laughs> I like to win. When you win, you're, it's, the feeling is unbelievable. It's so good that it's worth this. Yeah. But I hate it, man. Do you, you hate the day of the fight up until the fight? But once the fight oh. starts, how do you feel? Once it starts... No, 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 no. When it started, it's, it's gone. All this gone. is gone. All the anticipation's gone. I right? like, I hate the day. The build up. The day. You're the day. And the closer I get to the day, I start, I love it, but I start to hate it more. It's like mm. a build, a hate that build up, like right. a bubble of hate. Mm. And by that time that it's time to freaking walk out, the, like the many seconds that it's time to walk out, and like Bert Watson used to be the guy used to kick out the door. Say, Pierre, you ready? Ah! Now he's not there anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately. I, I, Unfortunately, I used to like Bert. We rolling, we rolling, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, baby. so, so, so I used. It's like a bubble that build up in my stomach that hate, 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 and I yeah. freaking hate. I'm even in the locker room before the fight, and I fucking hate it. My last fight, I it's crazy. I saw my, my friend, Eamon, got knocked out, and I go at the dinner, everybody's like dead people like this. And, and I see well, something is wrong, I say, what's wrong? And I, they told themselves, before I get in the room, don't tell them that, that Eamon lost, don't tell him he's, he's gonna affect him. So I get in the room, and my friend Eddie, who, who, the, who wasn't there when they, when they tell each other, first thing he says to me is like in the room, he's like, hey, Eamon lost. I'm like, oh, is it okay physically? He's like, yeah, it's okay. And everybody's like, holy shit. So Eamon lost. I remember Joe Duffy lost. Uh, Mickey Gall lost. So I go in my, in my locker room. I see one guy with the ice bag. The other guy is all fucked up like this. And I'm like, man, all my locker room lose, man. Holy <laughs> shit. I freaking hate this job, man. <laughs> Then I'm thinking, it's like everybody tried to, to make me think like, oh, it's going to be good. And it's one of my agents like, don't worry, it's going to be fine. It's like, it's like, it's okay, man. Don't talk to me like this. I choose to be here. I'm, I'm a warrior. And I say, go, go sit now. It's going to be fine. Like, I want to be a warrior. Yeah, I don't want to be like, you don't want to oh, talk yeah. to them. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be fine. The don't worst. worry. How and the they go fuck like, do you know? They go like this. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, like when I bought my news the first time, they go like this guy. They they grab me like, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. And they look each other like. Yeah. Like he's fighting bad news, he slammed everybody on, the, on his head, holy <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to a, 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 like a, cem- like a cemetery, like yeah. uh, someone just died. So I'm in the locker room, everybody freaking lose. I'm like, damn. Then I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. shake it up. I go in the bathroom by myself. I go, I go look at myself in the mirror. And that's what I do before the fight. I use James Lange theory. Who? James Lange is, is a, they say that the, the spirit can dictate your mind. You say you're, you're thirsty. Your mind tells I'm thirsty. You grab the water and your spirit can dictate your mind, but your mind can dictate your spirit. So I go in the bathroom, I close the door. People think I go to bathroom to piss or whatever, but I don't. I close the door and I say, I say now I see a lot of negative shit. So I go, I go in front of the mirror and I say, I say to myself, I say, I say try to convince myself like a kid, you know, like I'm the greatest, I'm the strongest. And, and, and I think I think of it looking at me and I'm this, I'm beautiful, I'm strong, I'm this, and, and, and I, I'm faster, I'm stronger, I'm gonna win. It's like these young guy, they lose, but I'm gonna show them what the, the way to do it, you know? Maybe they, they fail, but I won't. I'm gonna show everybody how it should be done. So I come back in the gym gl- with, uh, gl- uh, the, with the glory to show them that I achieve it and that's how it should be done. They, they're gonna follow me, man. So I try to boost myself. Man. Open the door, go, go back. I still hate my job, but I'm a different person than when I got in the door. So I play with mind games like this mm. with myself all the time. It's stuff that, I, that, that try to change your attitude. And it's very important for a fighter because the confidence is a key for a fighter. Some guy, they do stuff very basic in a fight, but they do it. When they do it, they do it so good and they believe in it. They don't hesitate. And you have no room for hesitation in a fight. You go 100%. And when you go 100% with confidence, that's when the magic can happen. You know what I mean? If you have the, the, ta- the, the skills, but you don't have the confidence, is, is John says that, you have the skills and you have uh, no confidence, it's like having money and you don't spend it. That's what John Denaro told me. Mm. But if you have the, the confidence without the, the skills, it's not good too. It's like a dream that cannot be achieved. You don't have the, any way together, but if you have both, that's when the magic can happen. I remember when John, John says that to me all the time. So you have the skill and you have the confidence. And confidence is not a choice. Is a, is, is, uh, confidence is not, is not a state of mind, it's a choice, man. You can build it in your head. When something bad happens, you build it and work. Try to work on your person to build it. This is something you can work on yourself, you know? And that's why I've been doing. Yeah, it's like all these other things you're saying. It's it, there's n- there's no one answer to how all this is done. All those pieces have to come together. All those pieces have to be together in order for you to be able to just go out there and do it. But I love the fact that you say that you don't like it. I freaking hate it, man. <laughs> I hate it mo- probably even in the locker room when I got there when I for, we got there that night. And like every other night that I'm fighting, ask my my agent, like ask ask even Ferras. I always tell him, I look at him as like. So what the hell I'm doing here? What the <laughs> fuck? I'm so stupid. I should have. Oh my god! <laughs> and they, we always laugh at it because now it become at the point that I know, I know it. People say, "I with experience, do you do you become more courageous? Do you become uh, how do you say? Do you lose the fear? You don't lose the fear. You never lose the fear. You learn how to deal with it. Mm. You accept it. Before I, I did not I did not accept it in my earlier fight." Like Matt Hughes, my first time I fought Matt Hughes, I, I, man, I was fighting this monument, this, oh my God. I, like, I didn't sleep for the week, man. I came like a freaking zombie. I was like, oh my God. Like even, even in the stare down, I couldn't even look at him. I look up like this. It's like I couldn't imagine myself. I, was, I knew I was going to lose. The confidence was not there. I have the skill, but it's not the confidence. So it's, it's very important, the confidence, you know, it's for a fighter, confidence is very important. That's why you have guys in the gym that are very good in the gym, they get into a fight. They shitty fighter. They're yeah. king in the gym, they go in a fight, all that stuff crush yeah. them. You have guys that are normal in the gym. I've seen guys in, in UFC, they fight in UFC, they freaking bad. I, I can't say for the respect, but right. I spar with them and they suck. <laughs> when they fight, they do stuff that it's amazing. I'm like, I didn't even know it. That wasn't his repertoire of technique that right. he just did a katagatami or something. I'm like, man, it's amazing. I didn't even know he knew that right. because of confidence, man. 
And when you have both the skill and the confidence, like you see like John Jones, man, is magic, man. You go there, pa, 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 spinning, freaking elbows and stuff. Like you don't hesitate, he goes, man. Yeah. Yeah, Rodriguez is amazing. Brr, bam, and stuff like that. It, it's just beautiful to watch, you know, and I really like that. The new generation, man, is scary as hell. Oh my God. 